Live Storm Tracker Doppler radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Tuesday evening to you. Hopefully you've had a wonderful day today. The weather, really not too bad. We've had a lot of warm conditions outside, a little bit humid, though, and that has allowed some of these uh, puffy cumulus clouds to develop. It's looking off towards the south and east, but notice they're kind of flat, not really growing too high. Well, there's some drier air in the upper levels that it's running into, but uh, underneath that dry layer of air, it's very warm and sticky outside. Dew point sitting at 61. Temperature still holding at 79 degrees at this hour, and uh, all of us pretty much on the same page. Except Monticello and Greenville, you folks are sitting in the lower 70s, a little bit cooler along the Mississippi River too, but the further south and west you go, you folks are sitting anywhere in the upper 70s to even lower 80s, Natchitoches sitting at 83 degrees. So, well, the moist air, it's not across the whole entire Arklamas either. We're seeing a little area up towards the north and west where a little bit of a lower moisture, dew points sitting in the 50s, and we're seeing dew points in the 60s, pretty much everywhere else, and the richer moisture at least is off towards the south and east, and that's why we're seeing at least somewhat better coverage of showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder here in extreme southern and eastern sections of the arc limit. So do have a boundary that's kind of draped here. This is going to be kind of moving up and down as we go through the next week or so and it'll be spitting off little pieces of energy once it does and that will keep rain chances around through a good deal of the extended forecast here. Live storm tracker Doppler radar brought to you by Young Young shows that all the shower activity that we were seeing about an hour ago has really started to fall apart. There's still one really heavy shower though just to the east of Alexandria and uh, while we will see that chance maybe Maybe for uh, a couple more through the next couple hours. Activity will be very, very isolated. Kind of switching gears here to the Mississippi River and uh, river levels across the Arklamas. Going to be rising. It's above the uh, moderate flood stage here as we go into the next few days. Washita River will be hitting a little bit of a peak, at least right about now, and uh, we'll start to see the levels going down here. But keep in mind, once that boundary does get going and we get some water coming down from the north, that's going to be filling up our waterways as we head into the next couple weeks or so. So, future tracker again, uh, maybe keeping an, an isolated shower, especially across southern and eastern sections of the Arklamas. Clouds will stay thick through much of our Wednesday here. Notice that there is a complex of storms off towards the north and east, and um, Future Tracker was picking up on it, at least kind of scraping southern Arkansas here, but maybe not now, kind of keeping it off towards the north and east. Still, those folks will have the best chance for maybe an isolated shower or two tomorrow. Regardless, could see a few pop-ups here, especially across the southern sections and eastern sections of the Arklamas, but regardless, it'll be warm and humid for everyone else. So, as we get closer to Friday, this boundary will get a little bit stronger and disturbances will continue to ride along that. And uh, once it does, it'll sag a little bit closer to our area for Friday, bringing a little bit better chance for showers, maybe a few thunderstorms too before it eventually lifts north and uh, then sits there for quite a while. So next seven days, picking up maybe about two to three inches up into southern Arkansas, you folks have the best chance of seeing that over, again, a seven-day period. So flash flooding, really not too terrible of a concern. One to two inches along the I-20 corridor, maybe a little less, up to an inch up into our southern areas. And uh, some folks, even in the green, may not see much rain, if all, at any. So going to be dropping down to about 60 degrees tonight. It'll be uh, warm and muggy again, maybe a stray shower storm early for tomorrow. Tomorrow, pretty much a repeat of what we saw today. The temperatures topping out in the lower 80s, and it's going to be another warm and muggy one, too, regardless of where you're at. So, seven day forecast shows that uh, we remain unsettled into the next week. Again, a little bit of a temperature dip once that boundary kind of sags over us for Friday, Saturday, and even into Sunday. But then uh, we'll see the temperatures climbing back into next week as that boundary lifts northward. And uh, even though we won't be seeing the brunt of the rainfall out of this uh, main event, we'll be getting pieces of it. So, again, this is. I guess somewhat good news that we're able to kind of trim the shower and storm chances down just a little bit, but we certainly just don't need any more rain on top of everything that we've already seen so far this year. Yeah, where's it going to go, right? <laughs> exactly. So, like, our rivers are already high. We don't need any more water, and I know people are tired of seeing uh, water in their yards and everything like that. So. All right. Yep. Thanks, Brian. Yep. Sports is next. We'll check